Hello and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for joining me Aquarius. I missed you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you guys so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes. You are helping the channel to grow. I appreciate your energy. So let's see what we have for you in regards to love. Love, love, love. What do you need to know? Somebody's making plans, possibly to go somebody. Came right on out. You know, we're not wasting any time here. Could possibly be the masculine, but there's also some sort of energy regarding finance here. You gotta look at it for what it is. Some of you might be having financial issues. Okay, Aquarius. All right. Somebody's needing to seek some sort of freedom as well. Tell me about, tell me one more. Thank you. Yeah, there's some sort of deception here. Full moon energy, Aquarius. I did feel that coming in. Um, this two of wands energy is going to be the action that's going to be taken because of some sort of uh, abandonment. Somebody's not seeing things clearly. There's a mystery here. Okay, very clearly someone is juggling. Someone has another option that they may not be telling you about. It could be coming back from the past. Um, I'm, I'm looking at that ship that's out to sea. Somebody's attention is not fully on something, especially when you have this left out in the cold energy here. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion here. You know, it's signs and synchronicities are possibly, and I'm just going to say it, they're possibly showing you this image over and over again. And if they're not showing you this one, for some of you, they keep bringing this moon tarot image back to you. Because mm -hmm. someone is leaving. Someone is walking away from a situation. Deep down in the recesses of your brain, you know this. Dream state has showed it to you as well. Mm -hmm. There's an energy here, the lily and the rose. Oop. Oh, that's going to stay on the floor. Somebody's watching. Okay. Being very careful with the plans that are being made here. But here's the thing. It's almost like here's the globe. And this is what this person is watching. They're watching this energy here. It's something that they're trying to create. It's almost like love, it's beauty, but at the same time, it's it's different definition. It'll come to me. I and I kind of feel like it's it's seeing it from different perspectives. If that makes sense, that's what this person is doing. That could possibly be you feels more like you. You're trying to make plans and if, if that's the case, you two aren't seeing eye to eye. Your other person is being confusing. This is you. Yeah, you intuitively know something's up. Somebody is looking for their wish fulfillment though. Okay. Um, some of you could have possibly gone to a reader trying to spy, looking for some sort of information, you know, or you've been getting multiple readings done. And what the energy that's flowing around you um, is somewhat of a regret. You know, somebody could have also gotten quiet. They regret that now. Thinking that leaving somebody out in the cold was actually going to make them happy. And that's not the case here. So now someone's like swimming in this deception here because of actions that were taken. Narcissistic actions at that. You guys, I don't know why. Just it, it, There's a lot of people that really are learning what narcissism is. They're really waking up. It's, it's like the next movement. I mean, seriously. Like how, how much do you take? You know, how much do you take from a person that is consistently doing things that are considered greedy or shady, manipulative? How often, you know? And it's like they're happy doing that. They're happy leaving you out in the cold. But it's like you got to leave this situation out in the cold because you intuitively know that it's never going to change. It's keeping you stuck. 
right? You're dissatisfied. Nine minus five is four. That's four of cups. You don't like that at all. So judgment has decided to step in here. Somebody, I just heard there's a battle worth living. That's what I just heard, a battle worth living. Let's see what we can do about shuffling these. Next up here for Aquarius. Aquarius and love. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. This is a really hard deck for me to shuffle. And Aquarius, my hands are big enough, so I'm not really trying to stress them. <laughs> oh my goodness, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Wow. I don't want this deck. That's interesting. I want this one. Mm, adjacent, adjacent possibilities. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Lots of air energy. I, I hear someone, it's almost like spirit guided message. They're asking you to stay grounded because you do have a journey coming up here. That's what this intuition is that's coming through and you feel kind of stuck because you know what it is that you wanted, right? Temperance energy here. You, yeah, you wanted this relationship. This is what was sticking out, 14 and five. But that's all about to change now. But yeah, for some of you, there's a third party here. I just, I heard there's a third party, okay? Left out in the cold, that's what all this shady energy is surrounding your other person. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. This journey. Yeah, something, there's some, what is this past? What is that? Yeah, <laughs> you regret having sex with this person. And you're like, why did I go down? You're, you're questioning yourself. It is what it is. You're like, why did I go down this road? If I knew that it was just going to be some sort of sexual journey and this person was full of it, you know, there, that's like you're, you're sitting here. Yeah, it's like what you're trying to figure out. I think that's the age old question, though, with this particular deck. So many different options that you could have chosen from. Oh, this person was your wish fulfillment. Possibly quite still is your wish fulfillment. All right. But there's definitely some deception going on with them. Yeah, look. They're telling you to be careful. Yeah, look. Toxic. Karmic. This person is here to teach you a lesson. They will destroy you if you don't pay attention to what your higher calling is. Yeah, literally. And I, when I say destroy you, I mean knock you all the way out. This storm warning, they're coming. They're announcing themselves to you. We saw that judgment card. Is it at the bottom of the deck? Yeah. This is, to me, the same card speaking out clearly about what's getting ready to come through. Yeah, see, look, and when you're dealing with somebody or something that is having issues like this, this is what's here. It's the lack of something. Could be getting ready to go through financial struggles and issues, you know. You're finally seeing some clarity or finding truth, Aquarius, about this particular person and they, the fact that they do lack the way that they do. This is lack of empathy here. Not caring whether or not they hurt these people back here. Lots of red here. Lots of red. You know, somebody's in the red. I also see big institution here not caring if somebody isn't able to pay their bills. I just do. Victory. Yeah, it's all about ego. Look, and contract. Okay, so take this as it resonates, whether it's, you know, you're wondering if someone's going to cut you some slack on your bills. I don't think they are. Someone's playing games here, and they're like, look, we have you signed to a contract where you say you're going to pay this. Okay, this is the, the communication that you're receiving at this time. Uh-huh, that's that storm warning. It's coming through. What is this? Wow, financial constraints. Again, they might be talking to you, contacting you, calling you, telling you that um, they may need some funds. I feel like for some of you, you need to be careful. For some of you guys, okay. Yeah, adjacent possibilities. Because there's more than one scenario here. And judgment's going to take care of any, take care of this any way that it goes. All right. So first scenario I see is husband and wife. Right. You two are trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills, period. All right? I feel like you have bad news coming in from one of your creditors. I'm just It is what it is. Some of you guys might have some car repos happening here. Um, for, for some of you, it may not even be car repos. I'm hearing furniture repos. 
as well. You know, like uh, material items that, you know, just to fill a house, you know, stuff like that. Um, let's see. Now, for some of you, though, there's a person here that's vindictive. And they are in their ego. They are stuck. They are definitely a narcissist. Um, there is some sort of contract that you two have together where you're going to be finding out what is valuable and what is not. Right? And it's a sexual journey for you, Aquarius. Okay? You're going to have to balance out your creativity here so that you are victorious in the end. You are able to take control and move forward away from any deception that's trying to leave you stuck. Or, you know, feeling, you know, like someone's trying to take advantage of you. Ooh, yes, it, yeah. All tied up. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can reach that. That's not happening. Hold on. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Now, I put those back in the deck. But for some reason, I felt that they needed to be in the deck just in case they wanted to come out. Um, all tied up came out. Somebody bound by a particular change that's going to be happening here. I feel like, yeah, for those that have been on the up and up, your cup will be overflowing. All right. You're manifesting something. You just need to be patient with it. That's kind of the unexpected. This whirlwind doesn't necessarily need to be bad, but you are headed through a whirlwind right now because of things that are karmic, things that need to be stressed, stressed, stretched out. I'm hearing stressed out, stressed out. Someone is stressed out and you need to learn to have patience to alchemize the situation here. Reach out to your community as well. I'm also hearing that. Definitely not understanding what it is that you're going to do. For some of you guys, I see that... Yeah, for, I don't know why, but I see like someone is resorting to selling sex here as a way of finding financial gain. I, I don't feel like it's something that... I feel like you're going to end up regretting it. I feel like it could be definitely through someone who is manipulative. Do not allow yourself to be abused in that way. I don't care how they explain it to you. That's a violent road to go down. Okay? This is the road, the journey turned into some sort of hostility. You know, it's it's the, the devilish part of that attachment that we saw as a part of this soul contract here. Take it as it resonates, guys. Aquarius. It's interesting, though, that this energy is coming out like this. Some of you, I'm feeling, are very scared. Okay? Scared and not sure what's happening. Somebody's planning on being quiet because they don't want to be attacked. Okay? Definitely hoping, wishing, and praying. Again, there's deception here, though. This is the femininity that you hold within or whoever this energy is. This is the understanding of the mystics that they are going to be bringing you in the abundance that you're searching for. There's something else though. What is it? Yeah, you have to learn that you have the key to this particular gate. So if you're in a situation and you're finding your stuff, stuff or self bound, it's self imposed. Yeah, and it's due to ego. Someone, you know, also, if you're finding out that your other person has someone else, yeah, <laughs> they're sabotaging you, so now you're angry and planning on trying to get back at them. Oh, let's see how that works out. Oh, yeah. Okay. But again, because this contract that keeps coming out, there's legalities all around this. So there will be a price to pay for whatever it is that's done. If you want this person to end up with legal issues for leaving you out in the cold, what's going to end up happening is, is there won't be a choice here. Because it's up to the divine to balance all of this out. Okay, Aquarius? 
This person is going to end up coming to the end of a road, but there will be decision in this, excuse me, the decision will be not to make a choice here with this particular person. They're going to stay stuck at a crossroads. Remember, like I said, all tied up because of their ego and these games that they were playing. Yeah, and they're going to stay stuck in a rotating cycle until they learn to heal. They're always going to be thinking about how careless their actions were. Always. I, I just, I can't even explain it. They're always going to be thinking that. One more. One more, please. Tell me about this all tied up for Aquarius's other person. Ooh, Aquarius. Yeah, it's going to be an ending of a cycle here. Like I said, there's going to be some sort of communication. I feel like for some of you, again, legal contracts, legal binding contracts here, Aquarius. Some, some, some things might get caught up in litigation here. That, that's a possibility for some of you. Um, but there will be some contracts that come to an end. This is soul contracts and this is also legal contracts. I'm seeing court cases coming to an end. Truth being revealed. Truth being exposed. Aquarius. Anything else? Mm -mm. See, it came right back out. It's the same. It's just judgment. It's time for judgment here. In any particular situation. There's a lot more here. Tell me about the love. It's like, okay, so what I did was I kind of separated this. So just looking at you, you're angry about something. There could have been someone here that received um, or, or was dealing with someone and they stopped, okay? But now they're mad because they're learning out that there's some sort of... Um, backlash from dealing with this particular person, whether it be STD, spiritually, sexually, whether it be loss of finance in some particular way, just like some sort of karma that you got caught up in. Like your name was kind of wrapped up with this person, even if you guys don't deal with each other like that anymore, right? This person is still in their games and their headspace, keeping people locked up, tied up, and they're not making a decision. So this is why the universe is stepping in and changing their particular cycle. All right. All in all, it's this abandonment issue, okay, Aquarius, that has centered around the entire relationship. Even though somebody just really wanted to make someone else happy. There was also this, um, this being left out because of material desire. The, the, someone being bound to someone else. They felt that they would be bound... And you felt, hey, look, sex not isn't free, you know? That's what this energy of being left out in the cold is. But this is also people coming back in to take their their stuff back. Like it's you guys, the stuff's not free. You know, we all have to make a living here. Somebody's gonna get their stuff repoed. All right, there's an awakening coming. There, that, like I said, the message. There's a message coming in here, awakening. I don't even know why this deck just popped out. It's Maybe I didn't say it clear enough, guys, but this is what I call the A-hole deck. Okay, it is what it is. It just tells the blunt truth. We're going to separate you guys. Where are we at, 19 minutes? Let's do this real quick. And then we'll get you guys a chakra stone. Don't forget gecempresscollection.etsy.com if you guys want to talk to me. Um, beautiful weekend energy getting ready to come through here. Join me for Friday night date night. I'm not even sure what time I'm going to do it, but I hope to see you guys there. I do give out one free crush, one free yes or no question to people. Okay, And you can also leave your comments below. And sometimes I answer them either on YouTube or I answer them... Um, on the actual video. Okay, so you're not surprised to find out that 
you know, this was just a sexual relationship. You're just not surprised, okay? Yeah. This person is not going to be bringing in the opportunity that you hoped for because of their abandonment issues. Yeah, and their ego here, fame and honor. We have opportunity in the reverse. We also have romance and adventure in the reverse. I feel like these kind of go for your other person. This is not something that they're looking for. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, it's love in the middle though. I feel like it's this. What are they loving? What are they loving? Yeah, someone's having a spiritual awakening here. Hmm. What they're not saying to you, because we have gossip in reverse here, is that they have always been successful when it comes to being malicious and withdrawing. This is lack of kisses and affection. This is this is their love language, is kind of what I'm hearing. This snake energy. But spirit is also coming in here with this success and shining light and adding love to this person's life by ending this cycle. Kind of like one of those moments where um, Scrooge gets taken on a the, the fly by night type of ride and then dropped from the sky you know it's that that shock anything in the middle I want to pick these up I said pick them all up okay those two can stay out anything else too many somebody did something stupid here there was the foolish card upside down whoo and it had to do with your ego that card went flying all the way over there had to do with your ego and look it came back out again this is the middle card look it's all upside down someone is not seeing what it is that they were supposed to be doing here it's your this is your other person is what it feels like to me bad decisions all the way around and doesn't care either they still are not learning their lesson even though you're wishing that they would. Even though you're wishing that they would. And look, because you sit in that energy, you're not protected. There's a there's a, a negative vibration that's coming from this now. That's why it's time for somebody to awaken here. GEC Empress Collection .com. Vimeo extended link is going to be below. We are pulling chakra. Um, this is all chakras. This is the actual entire aura. This is cleansing, clearing, activating, cleansing, clearing, activating, cleansing, clearing. I'm hearing you guys need to be meditating and you need to be working on your aura on a daily basis. That's what it takes. For some of you, you don't know that. You think that you can just do it a little bit and then you're done. That's not how it works. Do it all the time. They love you. Spirit loves you. I love you. You guys are welcome to reach out to me whenever you need me. Love you. Peace and elbow grease.